What is the step-by-step -step process to turn a dream into a reality? That's a question I asked myself a lot this summer, and I decided I would fill myself searching for the answer. I started my search online, and after watching a lot of TED Talks and sorting through all the wisdom and nonsense that is on the internet, I made a list of the basic steps most people seem to agree upon. The first step I heard again and again is to write down your goals. Now I've done this in the past because there's a lot I want to accomplish, but the step I was missing before was that I never chose a specific goal to prioritize. Instead I tried to do everything, music, languages, YouTube, and didn't make much progress in any one area. This time, however, I chose one goal that I would prioritize for the summer. The next step was to identify and remove barriers that would prevent me from accomplishing this goal. And the biggest barrier I could think of was the fact that I was not mentally ready to play a show in front of a live audience. Playing for myself was hard enough. Said that you call, you and I still wasn't comfortable on the guitar. To prepare myself, I decided to attend and play at various open mics around the Chicago area. Some went well, some went less well, but overall I gained a lot of confidence singing live. Next, I booked a venue and set a date. Now, I normally don't like setting a timeline so soon in the beginning of a project, but I found that this actually did help a lot. So as some of you might know, I used to work as a barista at Charmer's Cafe, and my old bosses agreed to lend me the space for the night and to prepare some appetizers, which was so nice of them. So once I had the venue and the date, the next step was to form a band. Now this was a little tricky, because I didn't know any musicians close by, so I joined a Chicago area music group on Facebook and made a post saying I was looking for a keyboardist. And that's how I found Marty. Marty plays the piano and ukulele, she's a talented vocalist, and just a lot of fun to hang out with. I was also introduced to Isaac, who plays multiple instruments, sings, writes his own music, he's basically... The master. The master. That's right, that's who they call me. <laughs> That is what everyone yeah, calls him. Aspects of my life. <laughs> Let's see what so it's the day before my show, and I'm really nervous. I feel like I could use some more practice, but. The good news is, is that the piano from Donner, they sent me a piano, it just arrived in the mail. And that is the piano that my pianist Marty will be using. So I'm gonna show you what the piano looks like really quickly. Okay. This isn't the first piano I've got from Donner, but this one is the E-Star EP120, which is a bit of an upgrade from my last one. Now this doesn't come with a stand, but it does come with a sustain pedal. So Marty, what do you think of this piano as a pianist yourself? What are, what are your thoughts? This feels really nice. Like it feels like like the weight of the keys is really like nice. Like a real piano, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's exactly what I thought. Genuinely like, and it has a really lovely sound as well. Yeah, nice and full. Um, yep. And it's like, I, it's just a really nice feel to it. Yay, she <laughs> likes it. Marty and I were feeling a little nervous about the performance, so we decided to have a last minute rehearsal. So the show is today and we've decided to wear black with purple accents, although this is blue. So here's my entire outfit. I'll just, I'll just show you guys. It's getting colder, head itself that I'm not sure what I'm gonna wear for shoes. I got my voice ready by following a Cheryl Porter vocal warm-up. Check her out, she's great. Next, I finalized the set list. We're playing eight songs, which should last around 45 minutes. I'm a little worried that I'm going to be shaky on stage because sometimes that happens to me. My body just starts shaking. But whatever happens, happens. And I'm just going to try and enjoy it as much as possible. All right. 
Thank you all so much for coming. Thank you so much for being here. I think we're, we're going to get started. Now, before we play some music for you, I'd like to give you a little history of uh, my songwriting and how I got started on this journey. So three years ago, I was up in Canada, and I attended a house party. And this house party was full of musicians. And at one point in the night, everyone went into the living room, and they all sat in a circle, and they started playing music for each other. And I remember thinking, wow, that's so cool. Like, that's so incredible. I want to do that. And so the next day, I went out to a guitar shop, and I rented a guitar, and I learned the basic cowboy chords. And a couple weeks later, I was inspired to write my first song. So I'm so glad that we can all be here for you guys. And I will kick things off with a little song that I wrote uh, that details my love life from the ages of 6 to 24. <laughs> I know, a long time. And it actually, it took me a while to write because I wrote the first verse uh, months, months ago, and then uh, I just finished it recently and it's called Paper Mache. So uh, I hope you enjoy. with me that can, you know, make that vision come to life. All right, so this is fear-based love.
So I'm going to stop the video there. The actual show was 45 minutes, but that's a little long for a YouTube video. Thank you for watching. If you are one of my patrons from Patreon and you want to hear a song from the set list that you didn't hear in this video, just let me know and I can send it to you. If you're not one of my patrons and you're just here because you're a subscriber on my YouTube channel or you know me from TikTok or Instagram, thank you so much for being here. I will have my music coming soon to Spotify very soon, in the next couple of weeks. Um, it'll be under the name Shannon Marie, and I will let everyone know when, I, when it's up and running and I have music out. Thank you so much for supporting me. It really, it means a lot to me. Um, yeah, and I hope, I hope you have a good, good day. It's that time of year, it's getting colder, headed southbound. Fly away, leaving me here, no way to follow, curse to be earthbound. And oh, what I give to follow them into the skies. But I'm stuck here, going nowhere, nowhere, nobody. By my side